In this problem, we will add by breaking apart a number. First, what I like to do is with word problems is to read it and jail details or highlight information that you're gonna need to solve this problem. Rodney has 147 songs on his MP3 player and Elaine has 212 songs on her MP3 player. How many songs do Rodney and Elaine have in all? So now I'm gonna go ahead and underline some details that I need to solve this problem. First off, I'm gonna underline the word Rodney because he's one of the characters in our math story. And I'm gonna also underline the number 147 and the word songs because that's how many songs that Rodney has on his MP3 player. There's another character in this story. Her name is Elaine. Elaine has 212 songs on her MP3 player. But now, let's look at the question. How many songs do Rodney and Elaine have in all? What I like to do with the words and when I just see them um, adding our two units together, adding the two different values in our number is to go ahead and add a plus sign. Because what it's telling me is I need to add Rodney 147 and Elaine 212 together to find out how many in all. And I do this after I read the word all. So again, we are gonna be working with breaking apart our number. One way to break apart your number is in expanded form. An expanded form is when we stretch the number apart so that we are able to see the different units inside of the number. Let's go ahead and start with Rodney's number. Rodney has 147 songs. So the number 147 expanded is 100. plus 40 plus seven. That's the number in expanded form. Those are the values you will have to add together to get 147. The next unit we're going to go ahead and break apart is Elaine's units. Elaine has 212 songs. When we break apart 212, our 200 goes on its own. Can you tell me what the other digits you think goes in here? If you said 10, because there's a 110 in the 10 spot, you're correct. So I'm gonna put plus 10. Next, I'm gonna use my addition sign to add my last unit, which is in the ones place. In this digit, in this number, we have two ones. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add them together to find out what the total is of um, the numbers when we add. So first off, we're gonna add seven plus two. I put the biggest number seven in my head and count up two. Seven, eight, nine. So right now we have nine ones in the total. Next up, we need to add our 10 units together. Can you tell me how many tens are in this number? Great, we're gonna add 40 plus 10. 40 plus 10, or zero plus zero and four tens plus one 10 gives us five tens, or five in the 10 spot and zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 50, because 40 plus 10 gives us 50. Four plus one gives us five. Zero plus zero is, gives us zero. Now we need to add our 100 units together. We have 200 here plus 100. So that means that you need to add your 200 plus your 100 unit and the other zeros to follow. Two plus one is three. So the answer is gonna be 300. Now we have to put these numbers together and we're gonna do so 
by going ahead and adding them together. So we're gonna say, what's 50 plus nine? 59. Plus 300. Now what's 300 plus 59? 359. So the answer, or how many songs they have in all, is 359. Now we need to write a statement. There are 359 songs in all.